On March 10th, ACIT's Global Ambassadors and Photography students engaged in a unique discussion with a few local community leaders. Rabbi and cantor Jackie Meneker from Congregation Shrat Hayom in Ventnor joined local NAACP President Callum Shabazz to discuss how students can become involved in their community despite any walls that were built by previous generations. In your environment, like even at school, and I can see here the wonderful um, diversity and equity and inclusion, we were talking about that a little earlier, but if you reach out to somebody who's, let's start with simp very simple, but it's not always so easy. You know, it's hard to go in a lunchroom and go and sit down and introduce yourself to someone you've never met before. All I need to do is take the opportunity to say hello to someone who I didn't know before but I've seen and um, comes from maybe a different background. We can perhaps um, get to know them just a little bit better. That's the first step. ACIT has partnered with ACAT, also known as ACO Center of Arts and Technology in Israel, to explore the view of humanity and share knowledge of culture and faith. Both schools contribute to a project of sharing their experiences of culture through photography. ACIT students were able to capture knowledge of stories and advice on cultural identity from Cantor Jackie and Mr. Shabazz to get involved with their community and how they can break through the historical walls that still exist. We spoke with Cantor Jackie and asked her which message she felt was the most important for young people to take advice on. I think the model that of seeing Councilman Shabazz and myself um, Councilman um, is a Muslim man, very deep in his faith, um, African-American man. I'm a, a female Jewish clergy person from a very different background religiously. Um, and this is the way to be, and you can do this, and you shouldn't be afraid to reach across lines of difference to get to know people and to support one another and become allies and, and, and friends, and that makes all the difference. For The Pursuit and Red Hawk News, I'm Aaron Baldwin.